spoiled kids who got exposed on camera. Dude, I am sick of this guy. Every time I think I'm watching a regular video, he appears out of nowhere with this little green screen and says something useless. <laughs> What's up, boys? Christmas is just around the corner. As of posting this video, it'll be like a week and a day away. So, you know, get ready. Christmas can either be the worst day of the year or the best day of the year for people, you know? They may get the one thing they've been wanting all year, maybe multiple years. Or they might get a big fat lump of coal and like a $5 Wendy's gift card. Either way, today we're checking out the best spoiled kids moments from the entire year some of which take place on this fateful day we call christmas you know it's a true day of disaster for some let me know in the comments what your plans are for christmas you know are you just going to be hanging out with your family are you going on some sort of trip let me know and with that being said enjoy the video boys I really don't know what to tell you i spent three thousand dollars on school stuff today i am not taking you back to the mall tomorrow it's not enough it is enough no. It is enough. I don't know what more you want from me. I want more shoes, more jeans, and more hoodies. It's like that hard to get through your head, for real? Mama, move your hand. Move your like. Honestly, the craziest part about this video to me is the fact that the mom spent, spent three thousand dollars. <laughs> I can see why she's just spoiled if this is the amount that you're spending on her regularly. I really didn't know that like some kids have just like multiple shoes that they just like wear. Because when I was growing up, you had one pair of shoes and then you would either outgrow those shoes or they would get destroyed so you get another. These parents are out here buying their kids like one pair of shoes for each day of the week. Marie and Amy are ready for sleep. But Mary Ann fancies a late night movie. Why is it so funny when people scream in British accents? Well, you're not having it, mate. You're not having your movie. You're not having your film, your motion picture. So get in the bed before Why I is it smack so funny you. When people Now listen, if I was a mom and my daughter called me that, I would definitely not have just Bruh. sat there like that person did. And I think that might be the problem. When you when you figure your life out, you can come back. She's 30 years old. It's time to teach her a lesson. That's all. She's getting a lesson You right don't now. think that, you know, she, she there's no reason for her to be living rent-free in your house and treating it like a pigsty. That's absolutely right. She doesn't have a job. She, she I think you're doing the right thing. Just... So Hang on, where is she? Because she's, she's gonna, gonna be home soon, but I think. Yeah, there she is. Oh my gosh, she's here already? Yeah, she's here. Is she coming in right now? Yeah, she's coming in. Okay. Your daughter is 30 years old and lives with you and you are spoiled her and now all of a sudden after 30 years of being spoiled in your house getting everything she wants you're just like kicking her out and throwing her into the real world. I don't know. Yeah, she's probably spoiled but at the same time it's like you can't just like spoil her until you're like fed up with it and then just kick her out. She's not gonna know what to do. She has not prepared herself for the real world at all. So she's just gonna be like homeless or probably or something. I don't know. It is pretty crazy though to be 30 years old and still living with your parents like not even like ever have gone to college or gotten a job or anything like surely you got to be at least a little bit embarrassed right if i was 30 years old and still lived with my parents you know my parents are great people but i just <laughs> no dude no i need my own space when your kid enjoyed the movie but doesn't want to leave Hey, um, does your kid need a, uh, <laughs> need a stepfather? I've been said to be a great role model. I could really send your kid in the right direction. Just hit me up. My Instagram is Dom So Two-year-old niece just turned two. 
got a whole iPad Pro. Bro, you could probably just swap with her and she would even notice. Doesn't even probably know what that brush thing is that she's holding. You think that she's gonna know the difference between an iPad and an iPad Pro? You just swap it. She's not gonna care. And then like later on down the line, you could be like, hey, you know that uh, iPad that I have? Yeah, that was actually yours long, long ago. And when you were really little and you didn't know what it was, I swapped with you. So it's mine now. Sorry. I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of the time when some guy at my dad's work offered me a choice between an iPod Nano and an iPod with a screen. The, this is back when people actually used iPods. And I picked the iPod Nano that doesn't have a screen, which was like way less nice and way cheaper. I, <laughs> I said I didn't know how to read, <laughs> so I picked the Nano. Now, are you gonna buy me a new one? Nope. You're not buying me a new one? How does that even happen? How does the bat break? <laughs> The TV is just insanely strong. It's the main character. The thing is not going nowhere. That was probably so awkward though. You're like trying to prove a point to your mom. Like, oh, if I break this TV, you gotta get me a new one. And then you do that and the bat just snaps. What now? You're kind of just out of luck at that point. This off now. Now. Oh, the bat breaks. I'm gonna put that shit back. This is limited edition. Why does this guy just keep popping in and just saying random stuff? He adds nothing to the video ever. He just kind of pops in and goes, no, no, put it back. and then he just leaves. <laughs> also, the video itself, it seems like a bit. I just, <laughs> the way she goes, it's limited, limited edition. edition. <laughs> it feels like some sort of like South Park bit or something. Like when Cartman goes to the store with his mom and asks her for an iPad. I'm not going to elaborate on what happens in that scene, but it, it is funny. It's designed because I'm done braining it. I had business I had to do in Europe. I had to fly back on my private just to go take care of family business. I don't care. Do you have some understanding, okay? Some sympathy at least? Here's what I think. I think you're doing nothing with your life. You have I, a private jet. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Guys, guys, one day you're all gonna work for me. I really like how in this video he had to specify that he, he could not complete the assignment because he had business to do in Europe and he had to fly back on his private jet. He had to just be like, fly back on my private jet. He could have just been like, I had to go to Europe. But no, he was like, I had to fly back on my private jet to go take care of business. POV, you're dating a rich Dubai kid. Oh, God. Yeah, all this, and then when you guys break up, he's just gonna, you're just gonna snag all of it, or he's gonna take all of it back, and then boom. Now you're left with absolutely nothing again. I mean, what, what, what's the point of, you know, the nice views, the Louis Vuitton bags, and as soon as your relationship ends, it's just... Pfft. I had a friend who uh, got his girlfriend a lot of really nice stuff like this, and as soon as they broke up, she started selling it on, like, Grailed and Depop and stuff, and... <laughs> He saw it and he was just like, dude, what the heck? I'm gonna get my- I'm gonna go get my stuff back, man. Questions you get asked as a rich kid. I mean, I like how he just acts so absolutely appalled that anyone would even ask if he has a yacht. He's like, guys! Come on. Nobody's walking around with a yacht these days. Come on. All right. Jeez, dude. Also, how do you even know if this guy is actually rich? He's literally just like wearing a suit with his friends standing in like what seems to be a pretty nice area. He could be dead broke and this could all be fake for TikTok. Never judge a book by its cover, guys. I mean, this could be a homeless man. It's your first week in Colombia. How much have you spent? I don't know, like one, one Are you sure that you spent that much? Mental math. All right. Pull every bank out. Let's see how much you spent. I'm feeling comfortable pulling my bank out. We can go over my spending tracker. Someone I was with wanted an Uber Black. And that's another Uber. <laughs> Just coffee, I guess. That was an accident. Um, sweet greens. 
think it was fries from US Open. That was great. Another Uber to US Open. Fucking textbooks, and I haven't even purchased all of them. Rice cooker, best purchase I've ever made. Yeah, so 3K in total. That's a lot. <laughs> you lied! So she thought she spent 1K in a week, which is already pretty insane. But no, she spent 3K in a week, which is like, <laughs> I want to say like probably more than four times my rent in one week, which is insane. You would have to like literally try to spend $3,000 in a week on a whim i just want to know what she does for a living how is she do is she is she a money launderer or is she a drug dealer ayo private school check Dude, what school is this? <laughs> it's a private school. I mean, I went to a private school. I went to private schools pretty much my entire life. Nobody had these cars. This has got to be some sort of like elite private school where they're just like all the sons and daughters of, of like, you know, rich CEOs and billionaires. I'm about to just like ruin their car meet like one of those GTA Online guys. <laughs> Sing along if you have it, rich kid edition. Dude, this is like Drake's house. What, what do you mean outdoor pool? I mean, plenty of people have pools, but like that house? <laughs> I don't have that, that's for sure. I mean, I didn't have a pool either, but oh my God. Big bedroom? That is a colossal bedroom. what happened but suddenly i am extremely rich uh i think this one might be a little bit of a stretch i'm not gonna lie led lights i'm pretty sure you can go on tiktok and find some of those strips for literally like four dollars a pop how how is that rich and like a tv when were tvs even invented when were tvs invented 1927 bro this isn't 1927 okay everybody has a tv nowadays dude some of these rich kid editions sing along if you have any of these tiktoks which by the way there are so many of them are so funny because they'll be like yeah sing along if you have airpods and then also sing along if you have a Lamborghini. Everyone chants daddy's money to the rich kid at school every day, and I feel really bad for him. What kind of school is this? I'm just gonna go ahead and say that this is probably not the audio that is actually on this video. If you take one look at the crowd, I don't know what kind of school would, would have like some middle-aged dude with a beer belly and then some tiny little toddler kid. What kind of school is this? I need to find that out. I can't even imagine like what would you be moving out of this house for and what house are you gonna be moving into because you're basically Drake at this point basketball court you got a giant pool like that's literally bigger than some public pools you got a <laughs> a hot tub um <laughs> a movie theater you'd never have to go anywhere literally anytime for anything here's what a tech billionaire's daughter to spend in LA last weekend I don't remember taking a helicopter, a coffee at Alfred's, went out at Chateau Marmont, Uber, went shopping at the Row, tried the Erewhon smoothie. This was lunch, Uber, a private session at Forma. This is my dog's therapy. Went to Nobu <laughs> with friends, Uber, got ice cream, oops, didn't need it. Tesla, and it was honestly kind of cheap. <laughs> Remember earlier when I we watched that video about the girl from Colombia spending three thousand dollars in a week? Yeah, uh, this one just spent eight point seven k in a weekend. She said, "I don't even remember taking a helicopter." Did anyone else catch that? Remember taking a helicopter? Oh yeah, you know, 
Oh, that must have, that's weird. I don't, I don't remember taking a helicopter. I think I also heard her say something like dog therapy, dog emotional, like therapy. Like your dog goes to the therapist and tells him about its problems. Like, Cause I have never heard of dog therapy in my life. This must be some sort of like elite top 1% thing that only the richest of the rich know about. Everybody has that one thing in their house that everybody thinks is so cool. Could be a hidden cabinet. Little movie room, gadget, but ours is this. Dude, I absolutely just refuse to believe that people live in houses like this. How is this even possible? Like you can't get this rich by just like being, you know, like a doctor or like a brain surgeon, you know? Also, um, the interior of this house is literally disgusting. Looks like the cheesecake factory. Today I'm doing a house tour because we all know none of you losers will ever be invited here. Let's go. This is the grand foyer. It's where we throw all the balls. Catch! I asked you for one- I love how she's like voicing over this uh, sound like to try and treat it like it's some sort of joke But she's very obviously still just trying to flex all of her stuff <laughs> He's like yeah guys look at me mouthing the words to this random clip of some other spoiled woman talking about her house So therefore it doesn't count and it's actually still just a joke So you can't call me spoiled. What is it at the beginning there? What do I see? Uh, uh, is that a golf cart? W at what point like in your riches do you buy a golf cart? You're just like well I got nothing else to spend money on, so I guess I'll just buy a golf cart. What's up, boys? It seems that no matter what walk of life you're from, everybody just knows one rich kid. Like, everybody had that one kid growing up that was just rich and, like, had just, like, a, an insane thing in their house or they owned something crazy that they would bring to school every day. You know, everybody knows a kid like that. Well, what if I told you that there's a hive mind of these kids on TikTok and today we're gonna be taking a look at them. And so be ready to cringe because this video gets pretty bad. It, you... <laughs> it's it's something. Let me know in the comments if you guys knew a rich kid growing up. And without further ado, enjoy the video. Nothing fills me with more joy than entitled rich kids getting massive tickets for parking in a handicap spot because they are too good to walk 50 feet. First of all, this is like two feet. You gotta walk maybe like for three seconds if you get out of that car and go to the shop. You know what? Whatever. I don't even care. I'll just use my parents' money to pay for those tickets, so I'll park wherever I want. Rating the houses I grew up in. I'm gonna give this one like a nine just because it was really modern, it was really nice, and it was pretty big. House number two, this was our desert vacation house, and it was pretty nice, but way too hot. I'd give it like a 7.5. Also gonna give this one a nine because it was in such a nice neighborhood in such a good area. I'd give this one like an 8.5, guys. It was really cool, but kind of creepy. This house was a vibe we had a full baseball diamond and batting cages and basketball court i'd give it like a 9.5 this one's got to be a 10 because of all of the memories this is the house i actually grew up in from like one to eight years old like and comment if you want to see more i have never seen so much cap in one video that is incredible this dude just went on zillow looked at the most expensive houses in like california just said all right let me make a tiktok <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these Google images, like, these are all from just Zillow or Google Images, dude. This is how the rich kids of Dubai spend their billions. Money Kicks has a custom Louis V Ferrari. The Crown Prince of Dubai, aka Faza, spent 4.5 mil on camels. Turkey has a fleet of all golden cars Follow from- I mean, that's cool and all, but why are you talking like that? He kind of sounds like Donald Trump. Uh, the Crown Prince of Dubai spent 4.5 million, yes, million dollars on camels. Follow from- Dude, that thing is insane. What even is that? Is that a Mercedes? I've literally never seen that before in my life. Like, what if you run over a nail or, or, or like, something and your tire pops and then you're just done for because this was, like, one of the only tires of, that could fit this car. You can't just go to a tire place and get new tires. You have to, like, contact the creator of the vehicle and get new tires made and shipped to you for, like, $100,000. This is what rich Russian hits in America spend their money on. Masha, so what did you spend your money on? Coffee, Uber Blacks, clothing pieces from Emma Chamberlain campaign, got an NFT, getting into art. I would call it an investment, honestly. Then I got UX sunglasses and another Uber. You heard it here first. She got an NFT. 
<laughs> because she's getting into art. That's what I do too when I'm also getting into art. I just buy NFTs on OpenSea for $2.4 thousand dollars. Just cause, you know, I'm just getting into it. Also look, every time she hits the button to, to categorize what like spending that was, her number on the top goes up and it ends at 50,000. If this isn't like a week, I think that's the most amount of money I've ever seen somebody spend in a week's time ever. Like 50K? You would have to like try, I feel like, to spend that much in a week unless you bought just like a really nice car one day. Is it just me or like would you guys hate to live in a place like this that's like right by an intersection where there's constantly cars and fire trucks and police sirens and people going by all day and probably like all the way into the night i guarantee you you probably get woken up at four in the morning to like police sirens gunshots because it's i mean it's new york so there's gonna be those hey guys so today i got a call saying that the car was finished up the service here they are dropping off the car of course I miss this car so much, it's my favorite out of all the cars that we have, it's the Rolls Royce Phantom, it has the red guts inside, it's my favorite in a car, I love the red guts, and then here I am looking at the car, I missed it so so much, and then here he is offloading the car, and I got so scared because I thought he was going to scratch the car, but he did not, because you know what he's doing of course, and then here I am signing off for the car, I was so excited, I'm surprised that the car has like this new car smell every time, since we had it since 2019 we took the call in today we went to air one i go here every morning for my money essentials i love air one so much Bye. i mean nice car and all you know I'm, I'm assuming you definitely did not pay for that car but uh I, I don't know what the point of that last part was what is that some sort of grocery store what is air one is it like a rich person grocery store <laughs> Even the font on the sign just looks like I shouldn't be there as a low class commoner, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> Dude, what is that? Green tea honey peel off pack and it's some sort of Korean Shrek thing? Everything about this is confusing to me. Why is it Shrek? Does Shrek use this on his skin? Is this what makes him his skin all nice and green and and you know and and beautiful? I also like can't tell if this is supposed to be like a joke like oh like I was gonna say a bunch of expensive stuff but actually I just said this Shrek thing or if it's just like one of those things where this is actually just like two thousand dollars because it's some sort of rare Korean product. I have no idea whether it's actually a flex or a joke or not. If somebody in the comments can uh, educate me, that would be greatly appreciated. Now, are you gonna buy me a new one? No. You're not gonna buy me a new one? That bat must have been made of like foam or something, because there is just no way that that TV was able to break the bat. It didn't. The TV didn't move at all. It literally just stood completely still. It stood its ground and it broke that bat with all its might. You have to get off of them. I'm not taking him to the TikTok shop. We're not going today. Get off of him. He doesn't want you standing there. Will you please? I'm gonna stand here until he says he's ready to go to the TikTok shop. I'm gonna call 911. I'm standing here all day until we go. Dude, what is going on in this video? Why is she standing on him? Why is he acting like he just can't stand up and move? You can stand up and also, what is the, what is the store? I've never even heard of the TikTok shop. What do they sell at the TikTok shop? Does anybody know what this TikTok shop could possibly re be referring to? I don't want no car that, if I gotta, I gotta charge it for it to work. I didn't want that. Girl, we're gonna be loving it. You got a damn car. Why? You got used to be happy. Put the keys back in your purse. Oh, and I will. And don't ask me for nothing this. else. Oh, uh, you're going to be happy with that money. How much is it? Girl, open it up and stop being ungrateful. Because now you're starting to be ungrateful. Where you ain't got to yeah, worry about me ever again. I said I wanted a Tesla. You, I always told you I wanted a pink 
Mercedes Benz. Okay, why did I couldn't get the Mercedes Benz? So you and got then, that. This is all you gave me for my sweet sixteen and my golden. Girl, do you know how much money that is? That's sixteen hundred dollars for That's 16. for my sweet sixteen and my golden birthday. Well, what did you want? And then you gave me the truck. I do this is the car. It's not the truck. This is the car one. You guys, look. You can have all your gifts back because why would you do this? This is my sweet sixteen and my golden birthday, and you gave me a car I didn't even want, and then you gave me little money. You was being really, really ungrateful. Give this to your mom. This is ridiculous. That just made me so unbelievably angry for no reason. I mean, actually, not for no reason. For a very good reason. You would rather walk than drive. And she thought that $1,600 was nothing for her sweet 16. This has to be staged. I'm sorry. I refuse to believe that there are kids out there that are actually like this. I refuse to believe it. What environment was this chick raised in for her to act like this? I, I sound like a boomer, even though I'm only 19. But I, I don't... I've had enough, dude. See ya. I have absolutely no idea <laughs> what I just watched. The way he like immediately started crying when his mom came back in, slapped himself and fell over and like moaned a little bit. This was the most insane 30 seconds of my entire life. That, that was actually incredible. Hey, stop moving. Stop moving. You won't let me get it? I'm gonna smack Don't you dare. Don't you dare. You wanna get it? Can I get it? Nope. Really? Nope. I hate this piece of shit phone. Whoa, don't throw it in the pool! Can you give me your chest now? Nope. Yeah, you are. I'm gonna go get that phone and hope it works. I don't have a phone! Are you kidding me? You're not me? getting another one. Get in that phone no, right no, now. I don't have a phone! You're getting me another one. No, I'm not. Go right now and get that. Oh I'm God. sick of it. Why? Go get the phone. You better hope it works, because that's it. I don't care about you, mom. I'm just gonna, I don't, I'm just gonna purposely make this more difficult on myself. He also thought that for some reason destroying his phone would get a higher likelihood of getting a new one. I'm not really sure how that works. Uh, that, that has never worked for me. I mean, I've actually never tried that because um, it seems a kind of a stupid idea. <laughs> I like that microwave, mom. Best for not buying me the new PS5. Now I can't play games all night with my buddies. I decided to take matters in my own hands. Don't check your purse, cause yeah, guess what? There's money missing from me. This is Oscar worthy. The way he screams when he launches that microwave, that little <laughs> like pure emotion. Oh my god, I'm getting chills down my spine just talking about it. It's really incredible, dude. Great acting. Hey, what do you want? Yeah. Okay, get it then. There's a one other one down there. Jeez, cry baby. You fake cry. You know that? You fake cry. Yeah, but guess what, you dolt dude? Like, you're, she's fake crying, and you know she's fake crying, but then you still give her what she wants when she fake cries, so she knows that it works, so she's gonna keep doing it, and she's gonna grow up to think that she's gonna be able to get whatever she wants whenever she wants, because you just give her stuff whenever she fake cries. Boom. I mean, come on, dude. How are you getting out-parented right now by a 19-year-old who sits in his room and plays Overwatch 2 for nine hours straight? Guys, I'm putting toys away so she doesn't see because she's just throwing stuff in here. So we're gonna put her toys away. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Videos like this are better birth control than like literally any form of protection whatsoever, man. All you really gotta do is just watch these types of TikTok. Just do what I'm doing and it'll work, trust me. few questions about this video the first one being what is that number at the beginning two two thousand what is that two point two thousand million a hundred that's a lot of money for like a four-year-old to be spending on robux uh, especially on this weird website roblox.cashstar.com I, I i don't know uh, i've never bought robux so i don't know but i feel like that's probably a scam website uh and your and your little daughter is getting scammed right before your eyes 
miss, miss. Look what we got you outside. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. What is this? I wanted an M5. What is this? The least you could have done is make it red at least, not gray. It's called boring. And where's this mediocre wrapping on the car, bro? Merry Christmas. You must up my entire Christmas. I hate you! Hopefully you got me my gold-plated interior. Ah! You don't love me! You don't love me! What are you doing? I'm burning it. Dude, this guy loves Christmas so much that he's even got the Christmas-themed bedroom. That would scare living daylights out of me if I was trying to go to sleep in that blood-red room with a Christmas tree in it. I really aspire to be so passionate about a holiday that I paint my entire bedroom to match the color of that holiday. Okay, I'm gonna be completely real with you guys. I didn't even know the iPhone 14 was even out. I thought we were still on the 13. Okay, yeah, uh, apparently the iPhone 14 is an actual thing that exists now. I had no idea. I'm still on the 11. Um, this thing literally dies in about three minutes if I don't have it plugged in constantly. Um, so I probably am in the market for a new one, but hey, I guess uh, I'm not one of these rich kids then. Congratulations, everybody. I'm one of the common folk. I made it. The video just filled me up with a rage that I have never seen before in my entire life. I've never felt anger like this ever. If this- if this was my kid, let's just say, uh, they would no longer be my child because they would be sent straight to the adoption center. Merry Christmas from Nonna and Marco. Oh, thank you, Nonna. There appears to be. <laughs> that is so true, though, dude. Anytime, I mean, I've never actually gotten a card with that insane amount of money in there. I generally don't even know how that. But anytime I get a Christmas card or a birthday card, you always have to like open it and then kind of just ignore the money, like just pretend it, it's not there, even if it's like a hundred dollars. And then you have to read the card and be like, "Oh, thanks." And then you kind of like hold up the money and like give it a little like like shake, and you're like, and then you nod and you're like, "Thank you." Or you just don't even acknowledge the money at all. Only rich kids have these things. This was just passed, so I know a lot of y'all came up. Let me know in the comment section if you own any of these things, Brody. All right, to all the people who got braces, you're not fooling me. You know that you're rich. Like, come on, Brody. Braces literally cost over $1,000. Y'all guys could get a diamond bust down girl if you wanted to. Did you just hear that noise? That was me turning the volume down on my computer. But you know what? Let's just see what else he, he says is a rich kid stuff besides braces. On top of that, the motherfuckers with braces love to smile on your face and shit like, buddy, I get it. You're rich. I'm broke. Like, come on, Brody. If you got braces, you automatically is rich in my eyes. Like, do I even gotta explain if you got an iPhone that you're rich? I don't care if you just got your first iPhone on Christmas or you been had an iPhone, Brody. Having an iPhone is literally a number one sign that you have money. If I walk into your crib and I see a flat screen TV plastered on your wall, I'm gonna automatically Know I'm over Bill's Gates crib. Right, I'm, uh, I'm also like 99.9% .9 sure that this guy is recording this video on an iPhone, uh, considering the headphones that he is screaming his throat into are um, Apple headphones. So, again, just blowing my ears out. I am the richest kid in America. I have earned $150,000. Every day I get richer. My name is Don Lad, and I make $10,000 a month at 16 years old. I've probably made about 15,000 in a week before. In a month, about 30,000. I live a pretty luxurious lifestyle. I have houses all over in New York. I live part-time in the Bahamas. Listen, I'm just gonna stop this right here. First of all, uh, this kid, I remember him from the last video I did on this dude. He was that one kid that claimed he lived in like a gazillion huge houses that were all from Google. Also, $10,000 a month is not nearly enough money to support whatever lifestyle he's talking about right now. Why?
fucking 2K15 instead of 2K16. It was out of stock. What the? Listen, to be honest, I don't even know why this kid is so mad. They were reusing Madden dance touchdown celebrations for like four games in a row, dude. You're really not missing out, I promise you. Alex, you can't have the computer. Yes, I do. I like a beauty. No. Yes, I do. No. I like a beauty. Okay, fine, you can have it. Here. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> You didn't have to bait him out like that. He probably was like, oh, yes, really? Oh, my crying finally worked. I finally was able to acquire. And then he just baited him out. This video is like two minutes long, and the entire time, there's just a woman in the background cackling. I I'm assuming it's like her sister or something, but if that's the mom laughing, this is a cruel household. I went and spent an hour in the store you getting shouldn't you have a done phone. It. You shouldn't have Wait, done that. Wait, are you mad about getting an iPhone? It's a three. <laughs> Is it at least a 3S or is it just a 3? <laughs> this is a dinosaur. Wait. How old is it? Oh no. <laughs> Realize you're crying over a phone? Okay, listen, I don't know how old this video is or when this was taken. Depending on the year, a three is, is kind of outrageous, to give her credit. My mom's old first iPhone was a 4S, and that was, like, forever ago. I'm pretty sure the only thing you could do with, like, an iPhone 3 is, like, send Morse code messages to somebody, maybe, because I can't see it doing anything more than that. Okay, here we go. Okay. I'm gonna say No, don't worry. Why? We're getting the thing happy birthday. Nice, nice. At first I was like, okay, maybe he doesn't want her to blow out the candle because he really likes the candle and he doesn't want the candle to melt. And then I was like, okay, well, maybe he didn't want any candles on his cake. And at this point, I don't know what to think. You know, maybe he doesn't want a cake. Maybe he doesn't like his birthday. Maybe he wanted brownies instead. There's, there could be multiple different answers here. Hey guys, and Frank here. So I needed to make a video because something really bad happened. What happened was I got in a fight with my mom because this is the phone I wanted. Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, and this is the phone I got, Samsung Galaxy S6. Now, as you can see, there's a pretty drastic difference between the two. So, um, that made me really angry, and um, I broke one of my MacBooks. The reason I need four MacBooks is because this one's for sending messages, this one's for receiving messages, um, this one is for blocking messages, and then this one right here is for leaving messages on scene. Obviously, this is a bit, you know, she still has four MacBooks. Does she seriously go to the store and spend $4,000 on MacBooks? Now, I gotta respect the, the dedication of the bit there. I, I like to consider myself a, a bit guy, but I don't think I would be willing to spend $4,000 to commit to something that I'm gonna receive hate for. Okay. What the heck is that? Mm -hmm. Stop! What is this? Baby, it's got a SIM card, a battery, everything. It's not even funny. This phone is better than that. What? That's the top of the line LG. I could feel her pain with the LG, man. My very first phone was also an LG. It was like a, like an $80 LG from Target or something. And that thing was, that was rough, man. I was still happy to receive it. Don't get me wrong. I was like 13. It was my first phone. I like opened Snapchat on that thing and it would almost brick the phone. Like that thing would almost have a blue screen because I opened a, a social media app with the camera on. No, I don't. This is Silas throwing a fit because his beach ball blew away. I'm sorry, honey. You know, the craziest part about this whole video is that he's got jeans on at the beach. Uh, that should be illegal. You know, I know he's like five. What are you thinking? When Audrey turned 16, her mother bought her a Lexus. Then MTV built a show around it and made the world hate her. What the? Happy birthday! That's yours. Dude, I'm so sorry, but this literally has to be a bit. You 
mom, you ruined my life. I didn't want this car. The whole time she's wearing like a tiara. Like, come on, dude. You gotta do better than that, dude. I'm on to you. This whole thing also is like the most 2007 thing ever. Just from this guy talking to the way the, the video is shot to the music. This like literally is like some like 2007 like MTV stuff. Is he saying no? It sounds like he's saying like nah. Nah, nah, nah. His whole entire like being too is like completely red. His face is almost purple. This dude is not playing around. This guy is angry. And I'm not even gonna watch the whole video to find out why. Because he probably won't even be able to find out why. He's probably just gonna keep screaming the entire time. Well, I don't I don't think we need to know. All we need to know is that he is angry about something. I think this guy might be the first person to actually have like steam coming out of his ears from anger. That toy was $20. We couldn't I afford it. I wanted that toy. You had to buy other, like, apples and strawberries. Food? Yeah, I'd rather have a toy than food. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, he said it himself. He would rather have a toy than food. This guy is a real player. This dude could be starving to death in, like, a nuclear apocalypse, but as long as he's got, like, his red fire truck, he's fine, dude. Happy birthday! No way! <laughs> Happy birthday! It's red. Yeah, you don't know how Dad, hard it's it's color. Dad, it's red! What? what, is, what? Mackenzie, it's I fine! I've asked you a million billion times I wanted a blue car, Dad! Come on, yeah, Mackenzie! Can you please ask me for a blue car, man? Right, right, stop filming. But, okay, oh, Dad, it's, it's off. off. See, this one, I feel like is fake, but if it was real, she could literally just... <laughs> you could still just go get the car painted. I don't think it's the end of the world. <laughs> I, got a I asked for money for my freaking computer, and I got 50 bucks, and you got a PS4, which is like $7,000! Yeah! <laughs> okay, if they actually gave this kid's brother a PS4 and gave him 50 bucks, that is just, that is the most immense amount of disrespect possible. I don't even care, I'm on this kid's side. How are you gonna give your one son a PS4 and then him 50 bucks? That's such like a slap in the face. They're like throwing change at a homeless guy on the street is like literally what that is. It's just like, here. I don't know, take 50 bucks, I don't, I don't know, knock yourself out, go buy some gumballs or something. Hey man, you know what, if it makes you feel any better, do you want to know what I got for my birthday last year? I got, uh, like, three cans of Pringles and, uh, some tomato soup, <laughs> I think. I don't remember, but you know what, that was, like, an awesome birthday. I was very happy with those things because I love Pringles and I love tomato soup, so. Not everything is about the amount of money it costs, just, uh, just always, always remember that. Sometimes Pringles are better than a PS4. You wanna go to the toy store or the Apple store? Apple store. Do you want a lollipop? No. You want a piece of candy? No. You know what though? I can't even really blame this kid because you know there was something magical about the Apple Store growing up, messing with all the different iPods and iPads and phones and computers. And then you just kind of don't buy anything and leave. Now that I think about it, I actually still do that. Hey, can I help you with something? And I'm like, no, I'm just looking around. Where's my fucking Mega Blast toys? Jesus Christ, dude, that, that scared the hell out of me at the end. Oh my God. You know, they say the pain of losing a Pokemon card is uh, like no other. I probably told this story on here before, but I was in Boy Scouts. One of the kids in my like troop or whatever stomped on one of my Pokemon cards on the stairwell of our school. Then I left the Boy Scouts. I don't remember what card it was. I was not happy about that, dude, at all. Because we already have two at home. I mean the two boring cats. What? They're boring. They don't even do nothing. But this, these all cats, they can play. Where did you get those cats? I want you to send them back to the same place and get all these three cats. How is she so sure that the three cats that she's pointing to will play? One of my cats is like this big old lazy piece of crap and he kind of just lays around all day on my bed. Kind of just sits there for like seven hours straight just laying asleep in different positions. And then after that, he'll get up and scream at me to give him food. And that's kind of just his life. No McDonald's. No. Aww. No, no McDonald's today. 
Now I want you guys to look very closely, all right? Do you see one tear coming down from this kid's face at all and at any point in this video? Because uh, I see right through you, buddy. You're, you're, you're faking for the McDonald's. Also, what does he have in his lap? Is that an airsoft gun and handcuffs? Sir, you're going to be taking me to McDonald's right now. Otherwise, you're going to jail. He's got two hours of homework, and he's only 40 minutes to do it. Gang, get the hell up. Come on, get up. Get up on the bed. Get up out of bed. Come on, get up. Get up. Up out of bed. Come on, get out of bed. Get out of bed now. God, what Looking like a fish, man. Look at him flopping around. What was that little move there? Was that like some sort of like maybe his dad wouldn't make him do his homework? His dad sees him spazzing out. He's like, oh, my fault. I didn't know that uh, you were going to do that. I legally cannot ask you to do your homework anymore. I uh, will see you later. Enjoy your sleep. Yeah. Oh, cool. Nope. Yeah. Thank you. That's just a little calendar. You said you wanted a calendar. I mean, you think this is this is big enough? You think this will work? I hope so. I think there's room to- Mom, I asked for a fucking calendar. I want one of those big fucking calendars that I can actually see my handwriting in. Every fucking year, something like this happens. I try to get something, I fucking write it down specifically what I want, and you give me this! Every fucking year! I'm leaving right now, every time this happens! I thought he was gonna say he wanted like a phone or a laptop. Why is he acting like this over a calendar? Aren't those things like 30 bucks? No. Give me my iPod! No. Give me it! No iPod, no TV, no power. Yes, this is okay! I can't do anything! You can go to school. Excuse me? Uh, I, I don't know about you guys, but the sound of kids screeching like that is like literally nails on a chalkboard for me. I just, ugh. See, like, I never really got grounded as a kid in the sense of like not being allowed to like go out and do stuff, but I did get my electronics taken a lot, and man, vividly remember the feeling of not being able to like be on my iPad or my PlayStation. This is a very Gen Z thing of me to say, so I apologize, but man, I have no idea how people lived without like computers and phones. At this point, my brain is so fried. If I didn't have a computer or a phone or something to keep me entertained at all points during the day, I would go insane. Hey, go drive daddy's Lambo! What the f***? Your dad's got way more money than mine! Are you just kidding me? Your parents and your grandparents own CLP! So? Dude, my dad's only got like five mil. Yeah, I don't have that! I'm so confused at how this argument started while they were like sledding. Hey! Your dad's broke. My dad's way richer than your dad. That's such a classic kid argument. I just denied you the charge. You can't come in here with a broken bottle of food. Think about it. Think. Ask anybody here. If you are, just walk in with a broken bottle. Hey, can I get a beer here? No. Why not? Why not? Why? Why? How old are you? 19. Okay, so. Why? I'm very hungry, man. So, I'm getting close to you somewhere. That's fine. You're going to look like a school. That's your fucking Your job is a fucking joke. What are you, the manager of a fucking... Oh, Union Street Market. Of the whoa, whoa, whoa. Locations. Yeah. This blue yeah. Supervisor. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I like when the guy was like, think about it, what are you doing, man? Think about it, man. You can't come in here with a bottle of open beer and get service. Think about it, what are you doing? All those channels where they just go in public and be like nuisances to like random workers who are just trying to get through their day. This video was really just ahead of its time, maybe. This guy should hit up like one of these YouTubers for like a collab or something. Damn, <laughs> this dude is what we call a real gamer, ladies and gentlemen. This guy knows how to play games. Come on, Yeah, 
You know, um, I think the biggest disgrace in this whole video is that he just cheated on the machine. You're gonna just walk up there and put the ball in? What's wrong with you? Bowl it, throw it like a real man, and then maybe people wouldn't be, you know, yelling at you to get off of there if you actually, you know, did it right. Also, I don't know if that was his mom or it's just some random lady that, like, tried to grab him off the thing. I think he spit in her face or something as he was walking away. You know, I'm just glad to know that the guy recording is having a great time. Why are you just letting your kid lay on the floor in public and scream? I'm assuming the person standing over this kid is like his mom or something. I think what really ties this video together is the peaceful music in the background the whole time this kid is just laying on the floor in public screaming. Wait, you're just gonna stand there and let him embarrass you in front of everybody? Maybe she's doing my tactic that I said in the last video, you know, pretending that that's not her kid, just being like, hey, I don't know whose kid is laying on the ground right now throwing a fit. But they gotta get this guy out of here. I mean, what? I don't know what this kid's doing. Stop hitting and kicking. <laughs> All right, right here. Come on. <laughs> I'm not doing this all day, buddy. <laughs> just hit him with that suplex slam. What is that move called? Just the one person in the WWE who doesn't even, doesn't even wrestle other adults. They just wrestle children. They could like flex the record being like undefeated. Like, I've never lost a fight. I am suplex slam. Son, because I love you and now you're getting your driver license. Uh, I'm getting you a car. Look at it. It's a Honda Odyssey brand new. What is this bullshit? No, it's a brand new minivan. You can sit eight people comfortably. Leather seats, you got sunroof, 3.5 liters, V6, 250 horses. Brand new car. What do you think? You like it? I can ride with my bicycle faster than this. What is this? I mean, you never know, man. Maybe you could ride his bicycle faster than the car. Maybe the car isn't slow. Maybe that's not the problem. Maybe the problem is that he's just insanely fast on his bicycle. Maybe he's got, like, Iron Man legs, like, have jet boosters on the back of them and go insanely fast on his bike, like, 150 miles an hour. Honestly, in that case, like, yeah, I wouldn't really want a car either if I could go everywhere, you know, in two seconds on my bicycle. Give it here. Why is you throwing that phone and breaking that phone like that? You sure I'm not getting no phone now. Give it here. Now I can't even return it. That's what you do when somebody buy you something. You rip it apart, scrub it all on the ground, throw it up in the air, let it fall and crush on concrete. Give me that phone. Give it here. Did he just whip and nene and dab on the phone? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way this video was taken any time after like 2015 because I don't, I've not seen anybody dab. Think about it. When's the last time you went outside and saw somebody dabbing or you went to a party and someone was dabbing? Nobody dabs anymore. Can we bring back dabbing? No, God, please, no. I guess nowadays, you know, all the kids are just hitting the gritty. That's all they do now is just the gritty. You know, back in my day, we used to dab and hit the nene and, uh, you know, hit the quan and stuff. But you young folks wouldn't know about all that. You ready, Steven? Yeah. What do you think it is? Uh, I really don't know. Take a guess. Uh, a car. Oh. Close. What? Close. Uh, a truck? <laughs> yes! You surprised! Surprise! Surprise! Yeah! <laughs> you like it? No. Why? But it's a safer than a sports car you could buy it though. It's safer than a sports car. Yeah, but it looks like a car driving. No, you won't. Oh my god. Where are you going? Get away! Ah! Oh my god. Dude, what are you doing with that? Jack, put the camera oh, I away. I would put that away. Uh -uh. You better uh -uh. put that away. I just paid $200 for that truck. Don't. No. No. Do not touch the truck. Oh my god. You better not. What I'm not you really doing? Got the freaking. Hey! Oh my god. Oh, oh, totally no. ridiculous. You guys like making me look like a freaking poor kid in front of all my friends. Oh my god. Oh. Why is this video like an ancient artifact, dude? This is like less than 144p. This is like 40, 143p. 
creepy. I don't know. To be honest, I don't really know what the point of going over there and hitting it with a, a baseball bat was because, I mean, look at the car, dude. It literally looks like it's something out of Mad Max. Hammering it a couple times with a baseball bat is really not going to make a difference. It's not like you're hammering a Lamborghini and ruining Your it. Your dad literally said, I just paid $200 for that car. A couple more dents isn't really going to make all the difference in this thing. Also, did anybody notice how the grass where they live is purple? I'm starting to think that this may not have been filmed on planet Earth. I think this might be an alien video that was taken. I mean, they did in fact just confirm that aliens are real, so part of me feels like a lot of these car-related videos where, like, the parents get their kids a car and then they're like, ew, I hate it. They're, they gotta be fake. Like, the first one had to be fake. This one is probably also fake. Like, look at that thing, dude. It literally has graffiti on it. It's got, like, spray paint. They were definitely gonna take this thing to, like, the dumpster and get it just, like, squashed. Like... <laughs> Basically, what we're trying to do here is dent. Dude, I think you the got dent. it. You, you made it nicer. Yeah, it's nicer. Drop it down. See how it looks. Oh, that's, oh, there you oh, go. that's flush. That's perfect. That's flush. <laughs> Sorry, that's take hard. this off. That Demolition Derby. Demolition Derby. <laughs> Demolition Derby. We're, we're ripping the license plate off. I think a lot of people are misunderstanding the point of this video. It's not like he got given this car and decided he wanted to destroy it. I'm pretty sure what probably happened is he got in a little bit of a crash or something and they got a dent on the front of his car and he was trying to lift up the hood and undent it by hammering it upside down. I don't think so. I don't think he's spoiled. I think that it was just him trying to, you know, come up with a home solution to his problem. And honestly, I mean, like the guy said in the video, it looks, it looks pretty flush, you know? I don't know how bad the dent was before, but I wouldn't be able to see that from like 50 feet away so i don't know i think he did fine Only 25 a week not 10. how many robux do you have buddy what 14.4 thousand uh come on what okay, so i'm gonna clean his room is that okay you want me to clean your room mm -hmm. huh Oh, he's tired. What the hell, boy? So what do you want to do, buddy? I'll support you. Anything, you name it. Drawing. I love drawing. This is for cleaning your room. Thank you. This, huh? this is for helping me out. Thank you. For helping your dad. Thank and you. And just because you always keep your stuff so nice and neat. Oh. And you actually didn't do any of those things last week, so you're getting none. What the hell, Dude, I've seen this guy's account on my For You page so many times, and it is absolutely crazy. Like, he just sits there and, like, moderates a Discord server or something, while his mom will, like, go and clean his entire room and then give him, like, $300 for literally no reason. It's it's insane. This is also, like, a whole genre of content on TikTok for some reason. Like, parents just, like, that spoil their, like, Discord moderator children. There's this other one where this mom makes her son... <laughs> like a, a minion bath he's got like a minion themed room and like let me see if i can find it real one second it's been a while setting up a bath time surprise for my 16 year old son we've got a bath bomb and it goes all yellow we've got his best minion toy something to watch a drink yay like what is this a yellow bath bomb is a literally it's a terrible idea look at that <laughs> he's just bathing in piss this blows my mind and this lady's got other videos too of her doing like minion related stuff for her son like <laughs> just, why is there a gaming setup they're spoiled though these little brats friggin tv vcr combos in the back of their truck so they can watch movies on long trips what do we have sing-alongs and license plate games Listen, I'm not gonna lie, this looks like actually insanely awesome if I was like a little kid. My cousins actually had like a bounce house kind of thing in their basement when I was like way younger. They had a pretty big basement, so they had a bounce house thing in there and it was awesome. It was, it, it was not like four or five or however many are in this video, but the one that was there was pretty awesome. That dad's reaction time is crazy. Like he just somehow predicted 
I don't know how he even did that. I have no idea how he did it, but that that was that was impressive. I also like how the little kid is just like screaming and crying the entire time, and quite literally everybody is just completely ignoring him. Nobody is paying any mind to him whatsoever, which is honestly how it should be, because like it's that kid's birthday. I just love my mom. She can get me an Xbox. She can get me a VR headset. She can get me an iPad. She can get me a head strap. She can get me another iPad. But when it comes to her, she gets the cheapest thing. Look at her face, dude. The entire time this is happening, I think she's finally realizing that maybe this whole TikTok thing that she's doing with her son might have been a mistake because she's realizing how much money has actually left her bank account in that moment. She says it so, like, bluntly and just matter-of-fact, like, Um, dang it. Yeah, I didn't want that. It says in the caption that she thought she would actually like it. Like, it wasn't even a joke. I would just be sad, honestly. I kind of had a moment like this when I was a kid. It wasn't exactly the same, but basically my, my grandma had gotten me this, like, robot thing um for christmas and it didn't have the batteries in it so she gave me the batteries separately but i opened the batteries before i opened the <laughs> the um the robot so i unwrapped this thing and i just it was just like a pack of batteries <laughs> and i was like i didn't want batteries for christmas <laughs> like i was like so, i was so mad for some reason and then i opened the robot and i was like oh it's for the robot, but for a second I thought that my grandma had just gotten me batteries for Christmas and I was like, what the hell, grandma? It is so expensive here. You have no idea that people are spending so much money. I need just 20,000 euros. Oh, I need just 20,000 euros is crazy. Let me run a little bit of a calculation real quick to find out how much that is in American dollars. That's $22,000. That is crazy. What, what could you possibly need $20,000 for just like on a whim out of nowhere? Honestly, I think uh, most parents would probably hang up after hearing... Come on, let's go. Let's go. I mean, listen, you know, I might have to take the kid's side with this one. Uh, that track is pretty sick. I can't lie. If I walked by that thing and I was like four years old, I would also probably be trying to pull out and take it with me, even though it's quite literally like the same height as him. Immediately no. Immediately no. Wow. I'm telling you right now, I seen see what him. I needed to see. What? So I don't understand this one. You're going to whoop his ass because you got him the AirPods Pro that he asked for and he didn't immediately open them and start using them. Like, what, what, some people don't all, all need, like, AirPods Pros immediately. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't feel like it's that big of a deal that he's spoiled for not opening them immediately. Maybe he just doesn't need them yet. Like, you know how losable AirPod Pros are, dude? Those things, you will lose them if you look away from them for even, like, one second. Maybe he just values the gift that you got him and doesn't want to lose them right away, so he's keeping them in the box for a little bit until he actually wants to use them. Like, there's a million different things that could be at play here, but for some reason you're, like, trying to cause problems with your own kid for like no reason at all I, I don't know man parents i'm all right guys anyway ladies and gents uh thank you guys for watching this episode of spoiled kids i know i haven't been doing these as much as like you might want but it's just hard to find clips a lot of the time because there's actually not that many spoiled kids clips out there for some reason anyway follow me on twitter and instagram at dom so epic leave a comment like subscribe all that stuff and i'll see you guys later peace peace